guys! So today I have a really awesome Glam It Yourself video to share with you guys because I am going to be showing you how to make these really cool Peter Pan collar necklaces. And I don't know about you, but I'm a huge fan of the Peter Pan collar trend right now. But what I'm not a huge fan of is when I go into a store and I see a top or dress or whatever it is with a Peter Pan collar on it and I just want the collar and I don't want the rest of the um, piece of clothing. So I have seen online and in stores like Peter Pan collar necklaces, which I think are a fantastic idea because you can basically add a collar to any piece of clothing that doesn't have a collar and it makes it look like it came with a collar. Like this top just has a regular crew neck to it and I just put the necklace on. It ties with a ribbon in the back. So I'm going to be showing you the three that I made, which includes this pearl one and then a sparkly glittery one and then a studded one. But you can do whatever you want to your collars because they all have like the same base and then you can just decorate them any way that you'd like. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's go ahead and get started. And I don't know why I just did that, but let's go. <laughs> Okay, so to make these necklaces, you want to first cover your work area. I just used some wax paper, and then I am going to be using three different colors of felt, but you can use whatever colors you want. And then you're also going to need a pattern, and I'll put the link to this pattern down below. You'll also need some tacky glue, and then whatever you want to embellish your necklaces with. So I'm using pearls and glitter and some brads that I will be using for studs. Then I have some ribbon and you can choose whatever colors you want and I also have something to outline the pattern with so I'm using a white paint pen and then I also have a brush to apply the glue and last but not least some scissors. So these necklaces all require the same base and that's what I'm going to start off with first. So I'm just taking a piece of felt and I'm folding it in half and then I'm taking my pattern and I'm lining it up with the fold side on the felt. And I modified my pattern just a little bit. I made it a little bit longer along the curve so it would be more prominent when I unfold it. And then I'm taking my paint pen and outlining the pattern and you should end up with something like this. So then you can take your scissors and just cut it out. So now when you open it up, you can see that it looks like a Peter Pan collar. So I'm just going to take some glue on the brush that I have and I'm going to paint the glue all over the collar. I want a really good layer of glue and then I'm going to take the glitter that I have and I just mixed a bunch of different colors together and I'm using a yogurt land spoon <laughs> to sprinkle the glitter all over the collar but you just want to give it a good covering and then shake off any excess glitter. So after everything is completely dry, it'll take like several hours or so, I'm just taking some ribbon that I wrapped around my neck to get a general measurement, and then I'm cutting that in half so I have two equal pieces, and then I'm going to take some glue and apply it to the tip of the necklace, and I'm just going to attach the ribbon. And the glue will hold the ribbon to the collar very well, you don't have to worry about it coming apart because the glue is really strong and these necklaces are pretty light. And then this is what you end up with, a really pretty glittery collar. So that's one necklace down and now moving on into the studded necklace. I basically just use the same exact base on a different color of felt and now I'm going to take some brads and I'm going to create the design that I want and I already have one half decorated as you can see. So I'm just outlining first and then I had the little design in the middle. So you just press the brads straight through the felt, it's super easy and then you just flip it over and you want to open up the little prongs on the back. So that's basically all that you do and you just do that all the way across the entire collar. So then all that's left to do is cut your ribbon and then glue it on. And if you want to, you can add another piece of felt to the back to cover up the prongs, but you don't have to. I didn't have a problem with snagging or scratching against my skin or anything like that, so that's completely optional. And then after letting it dry, this is what your finished necklace will look like. For the last necklace, and my personal favorite, I'm going to be using a pack of pearls that I found at Michael's, and I'm going to start off by outlining little sections of the outer edge with the glue. 
So I'm just taking this in small sections and I'm going to line the pearls around the edge. And I'm using the bigger pearls and I'm alternating the colors between the like cream color and then the silvery color. So I'm just gonna go all the way around the edge first. For the middle section, I find that it's easier to work in patches so the glue doesn't dry too fast and you can get into the little crevices. So then I just take a little handful of the pearls and I sprinkle them on top of the glue and then I press them down. And that is pretty much it and I just repeat that across the entire middle section. And then you just need to cut your ribbon and glue it to the ends of the collar. And that is pretty much it. And I would say let this one sit overnight because there is more glue involved. So be safe and let it dry overnight. So then when you wake up, you'll be left with a really awesome pearl collar like the one that I'm wearing. So that's it for my video today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think this is a super fun little weekend craft to do. So if you end up trying this out for yourself, please send me a photo. You can post a picture on my Facebook page, you can tweet it to me, or you can post it on Instagram. So I will have my Facebook link down below, my Twitter link down below, and my Instagram username down in the information bar so you guys can go and send me your photos. And I think this would just be a great way to share everybody's creations because that way other people that maybe aren't really sure what they want to do can get ideas for how they want to embellish their collars and I would just love to see the way that you guys decorate your necklaces. And if you haven't seen my last video, I did a Halloween tutorial where I turned myself into a panda but the look is still pretty wearable. I guess as wearable as a panda look can be, but I will link that down below as well as at the end of this video if you would like to go and watch it. So yeah, I hope you all are having an amazing day and I will see you guys later. Bye!